<laughs> How's it going, Brass? My name is Pa, and welcome to Thomas Was Alone. It's a wonderful game about rectangles and squares, actually, with personalities. Um, it's actually one of my favorite indie games. I, I, uh, I'm not gonna babble on why I love it so much. I just kind of want to show it to you, bros. And I think you bros will li really love it. It's very narrative driven, so I can't really talk too much. So I'll tr try to keep my mouth shut and just uh, give you bros a good feeling of the game. Hopefully you'll uh, you'll see uh, why I, I love it so much. And uh, we're gonna start in the middle of it. So I'm gonna try to explain what's going on. There we are. So this red one's name is Thomas. I feel good because I don't have to name them. It's always like, what should I call them? This one is... Uh, John, the potato fry, or whatever. And then we finally have Chris, the fat, tiny one. Chris is a bit sassy. I don't really like Chris that much. But I, I get the feeling Chris will... Chris will be good towards the end or something like that. All right. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you're maintaining your image as a potato fry, John. So yeah, all of these have like different abilities. Thomas can jump mid-high, John can jump super high, and Chris... Well, Chris can't do shit, really. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you work together uh, with all these rectangles and cubes uh, to solve puzzles, I guess, and uh, progressing. It's a very simple concept, but it works... it works well. Uh, this game was made by Mike Bethel, which I recently actually met in, in Brighton. Uh, he's probably watching this. Hi, Mike. I can just see him judging everything I do. <laughs> I feel like you bros are judging how bad I am solving these puzzles. There we go. Finally. Okay, so I'll try to edit further on where you get more feeling of the narrative. Probably what I noticed right away when I play this is how amazing the soundtrack is. Um, that does a lot for me. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a sucker for a good, good soundtrack. Not gonna lie. And I am a sucker for puzzles too. <laughs> Back in the day when I started my channel, uh, there was this, I don't know if anyone remember, but I, I didn't used to edit my videos back in the day and, uh, it's kind of hard to think and solve puzzles at the same, God! <laughs> Point proven uh, at the same time, so people will just get genuinely upset how slow I was at solving puzzles and it, it would become like a thing. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, uh -huh. had a charming way of applauding every time John jumps. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know. Oh, John, what the fuck? John doesn't want to hang out. As I mentioned before, they, t they uh, Mike does a good job at telling their personalities in a subtle way that that still gives you a good idea of uh, what they're like. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Go, Chris! Go, John! Hell yeah. Teamwork. I, I, I don't know if high rectangles can hi-fi. angry orange one was less immediately likable, but yep. his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> okay. There we go. You did it, Chris. Proud of you, man. Go, Thomas. You're not alone anymore, are you? There we go. All the fam- So you go through this portal to finish the level. Oh, this was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. Everything Chris doesn't have. <laughs> John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Of course. John, you're- Oh, no! God damn it. I wonder if I can do this. Oh my god, genius pin strikes again. You don't need coordination if you're a fucking genius. Just look at me. There we go. I have played this game before, so I'm actually pretty damn terrible. I don't remember being this bad. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. 
John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. <laughs> oh, you're so nice, John. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. This is my uh, my favorite character of the game. She's just a, a nice little butterfly. So, this was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping. And oh she yeah, you slowly. are. <laughs> she felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. I don't know how you, why you feel like the way, Claire. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. This is the end, bros. <laughs> what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. <laughs> she can dance on water. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Hold your horses, Claire. You're not that great. But okay, fine. Um, so yeah, I know this is... You need a cape. Oh, sorry. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. This is true. But Thomas is good at a a observing, so... Matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. That's a pretty awesome superpower to have. Doesn't old fat people uh, float good in water? No, just me. Uh huh. Anyway, um, I know this isn't the typical PewDiePie game, uh, but it's a game that I really love, and I'm I'm happy to finally be showing to you, bros. And uh, French fries go in there. All right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. <laughs> Isn't she wonderful? Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. <laughs> it is a pretty bad superhero name. How about... You really tell me a good name. I don't know. Claire the Bear. Claire the... Unaware... Solitaire. <laughs> Claire... My Secret Love Affair. There we go. It's not really a superhero name. But hey, got enough. <laughs> Alright, all aboard the Claire Express. The Claire... I don't even know. The Claire? Claire declares... It's raining! Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Of course. Claire knows what she's doing, obviously. Alright, go up there, Thomas. Isn't this game wonderful? I, I really hope you bros will try to pick up this game and, and enjoy it yourself. Began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. <laughs> Claire is just the best. Let's be honest. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? She liked that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. <laughs> conveniently placed. I think Thomas should be the the secret love affair. But hey, maybe that's just me. I'm actually gonna end it here. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if it's a bit abrupt, but I don't want to spoil too much of the story. I want you both to enjoy this yourself. This is the last chance to pick it up at the bundle right now. I'm sorry if I shoved this thing down your throat for the past week, but it's for a good cause, so I'm, I'm okay with it. I, I st still hope it was enjoyable to watch. If, if it was, leave a like, let me know. Uh, hit subscribe to become a bro today, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome, bros. Love you. A dog would laugh at any joke. A chihuahua?